You, you need some trolling motor uh, to go in that direction, or how's your spool he's, doing? He's, he's taking some line off the spool. Well, I'll tell you that. I'm not in danger yet, you know. Okay. You're just but checking. he's certainly, he's certainly not a, not gonna go easy. Mr. Porter, I'll turn around and we'll start chasing him. And as you can see, they got one over here, and they're oh, they got a double header going on over here. I, I mean, talking about some un really unique fishing opportunities for really trophy fish. I mean, this this is it. I mean, big big fish on light line, and lots of them. Yeah, I know. I'm actually still. I'm putting my line out anyway. I'm, I'm throwing it out, and we're dragging it here. Ice King Salmon. <laughs> Let's get them back in the water. I want to catch some more. Our presentation for this hot salmon bite is extraordinarily simplistic. The best bait of the day, a 3 a ounce VMC Neon Moon Eye Jig dressed with a 5-inch Trigger X Minnow. We're fishing with relatively lightweight equipment when it comes to salmon. A 7-foot Quantum Tour Edition rod that's critical for long cast and hook sets with a lot of line out. The reel, a quantum accurist, is spooled with 20-pound test suffix 832 braid. The line diameter of this braid is equivalent to 6-pound test mono, so you can really put a lot of line on the spool. And you'll need it because these fish can really smoke. The best retrieve is slow and steady with an occasional twitch. Another good presentation option is a heavy casting spool, like Lure Jensen's Crippled Herring. Generally, you'll fish these on a heavy bait casting rod with an erratic popping retrieve. There's one. Look at it. I saw him busting. It's sort of, you know, we're seeing fish at all different levels on the depth finder, and including some fish that are, oh, that are actually busting on the surface. In some cases, we're actually casting the bait out and, uh, and swimming the bait real, real high in the water column. And sometimes you're, you're fishing vertical, real tight to the bottom, and then sometimes you're fishing like halfway in between based on where the, you're seeing the bait in fish. This guy's going into the box. They're, all, they're busting bait all around All us, us I know. <laughs> we got to get this guy in. <laughs> oh. There we got him. Yep, there you go. Right here on the deck. Three-year-old. Is that a three? Yep. These guys are the eating machines into the box. Look at the ice backed up. I think we need about six of them. Six of these guys would be really good. 